we have a particle with mass 5 kilograms, so it's going to experience a weight of 5g, and then it's initially at rest with a position vector 245. So maybe I could sort of move it along and say, right, here is my O, and it's sort of there's some sort of vector going in that direction. Um, but that's not a force, that's a position vector. And then we've got two other forces, so 15 minus 8. I'm just going to sketch these on my diagram, and then minus 7 minus 2. It's not essential to do this, and when I did it originally, I just skipped it. But we want to work out the acceleration. And so that's, first of all, going to involve finding the resultant force. We can add these two forces together, as well as the weight. The weight has zero uh, component in the x direction. And it's going to be minus 5g in the y direction because it's acting down. We can add these together. So 15 plus minus 7 is going to give 8. And then it's going to be minus 10 minus 5 times 9.8, which is minus 59. So f equals ma. Newton's second law of motion, just writing it in vector form with in two dimensions, and therefore a is going to be f divided by 5, or one-fifth f, maybe I write it as a bit neater. So just need to then divide 8 by 5, which gives 1.6, and then divide minus 59 by 5, minus 11.8. And that is our acceleration vector. Now we'll find the position vector of the particle after 10 seconds. So we've got constant acceleration here. It's not depending on time, which means that we can apply SUVAT, but in vector form. We've got U is equal to zero. It's initially at rest. We've got A. We don't have B. I'm just going to put a little tick because we have got it over to the right. And then we've got T equals 10. Three things. So we can use the SUVAT without V in. S equals U. This is a vector now. T plus a half. A T squared. So this one's going to be the, just the zero vector. And then it's going to be a half times 1.6 minus 11.8 times 10 squared, which is just going to mean that I can take my vector and times by 50, because 10 squared is 100, 100 divided by 2 is 50. So times this one by 50, minus 590, times 16 by 50, that's going to give... Um, or if I times by 100, I get 160. Divide by 2, I'm going to get 80. Now, just be careful, that is not the answer. Because remember, I talked a little bit about a position vector here. So we need to add that on. Okay, we've, we've worked out the uh, displacement from the original position. That's what SUVAT does. But we've got to remember, we're now comparing it with the origin. So R, this is going to be my position vector is going to be my 245 plus 80 minus 590, which gives 82 and minus 545. That is it. No, sometimes it's not in the formula book, so I didn't do it here. Sometimes you see the SUVAT equation with like an initial sort of position vector in it. Okay, so you, you could have gone straight to there. When I did it originally, I did that. In fact, I just saw that I had the um, 245. So I added it at that point and got the position vector straight away. But it's, you know, you can either add it like in this part or you can just add it later on.